Dr. Megan here. I'm going to be talking to you runners about um, how to know if you're in an overtraining state. So doing too much, um, especially if you're training for a distance race, you're going to be getting a lot of miles in. But where do you know, you know, am I just doing a lot or is it getting to be too much? So things you want to start looking for are decreased motivation um, and then just also an, an overall fatigue level throughout the day. So if you're just if you're a morning person, you typically go out for your runs in the morning before work or before getting your kids ready for school, and it is just like dragging butt to get out of bed, and you do not want to do it. You don't want to meet your running buddies, and especially if you're running by yourself, you're like, no, well, nobody will know. You start talking yourself out of it. Um, you know that's that's kind of a sign that your body is telling you that maybe you shouldn't be getting out for that run. And kind of alongside that, if you're feeling fatigued overall throughout the day um, and, and not sleeping well, that feeds into, again, your body is telling you that you're probably doing too much. So if not only you're, you're feeling less motivated to get out for your run, but kind of all day after your run, or even if you're an evening runner, um, you know, all throughout your work day, you just, this is you all day long feeling really, really tired, um, chances are that you're probably in a little bit of an overtrained state if that seems to be a common thing throughout your days that you, know, you never really want to get out for your runs and, and you're feeling very tired. The other thing too is when you do actually get out for your runs, you're starting to notice your performance might be slipping a little bit. So a couple ways that that ends up showing itself is, okay, maybe you have a certain pace that you plan on hitting for your runs and you know, you're able to hit that pace in your run, but it feels like 10 times the effort to get there. Um, you know, that's another sign that you might be doing a little bit too much. The other side of that is, you know, you have a pace goal, but no matter how hard you're trying, your body is just not getting you there. So that's another way that you'll see the performance slipping. So either you're able to hit that pace, but it feels like way more effort, or you're not even able to get there because um, you just feel like you have cement bricks on your feet and you're just, physically not able to hit that um, without feeling like death. So, you know, seeing that in your performance is another sign that your body is, is having a hard time with how much you're asking of it. Um, the other couple of things that you'll notice is you might start to have a lot more nagging pains and injuries um, that are cropping up. So if you're starting to feel a little nagging pains in your knees or your ankles um, that you don't usually have problems with injuries, that's another sign that you know your body you're you're probably doing too much and your body is not able to keep up with compensating or I should say with um, accommodating that stress that you're putting your body through and so you're going to be developing pain um, and developing little injuries as well as getting sick so again this falls into overall health we tend to get um, really busy throughout life you know if you have kids you have a job you have tons of other things going on in life and then you're trying to stick training on top of it um, you know all of this comes into play when it comes to your overtraining it's not just what you're doing while you're running so if you have a really demanding time of life like you have a crazy deadline at work and you're trying to train on top of that um, again, that's going to play into your overall health and, and you might fall into an overtraining state, not necessarily because of anything with your running, but um, other things that you have going on in life that you maybe haven't taken into account and adjusted your training with. Um, so if you're starting to notice little injuries or maybe you're, you keep getting sick, you're picking up whatever little bugs your kids are bringing home or whatever keeps floating around the office, um, if you keep picking up on that, again, your immune system can um, drop down a little bit if you're doing too much. So next we're going to talk about ways that we are able to monitor you know, how you're responding to exercise to see if you're falling into that overtraining state.